Okay, let's get started. Okay, top ten lessons. So first we'll do a quick introduction of who I am and who my company is. We'll talk about the problem that caused me to go looking for a solution. Then we'll talk about the solution. And then the top ten lessons learned while implementing the solution and going through the various uh, hills and valleys of, of learning Hadoop and big data and the hump of, of getting things up and running in a private cloud. And then I'll conclude with some final thoughts. And if we have a few minutes left over, we'll do Q&A. Okay. First in introduction, I'm Rod Cope. I'm the CTO and founder of OpenLogic. I've been developing software for over 25 years. I've done things from uh, small devices to large enterprise computing, uh, various uh, large-scale cloud deployments, and a lot of things in between. I've worked for IBM Global Services, uh, for the CTO of Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield, for General Electric, and I consulted at a number of large companies, large enterprises, and smaller ones as well, uh, looking at cloud and open source and other technologies. Uh, open Logic, a brief background, we do open source support, and we have governance and scanning solutions, primary, primarily for larger enterprises, with a certified library with SLA support on over 500 open source packages, including the ones we'll be discussing today. And we have dozens of Fortune 500 customers on our SaaS project or product for open source governance and support. Okay, so first the background. The problem we are trying to solve is primarily around big data. This is something I'm sure most people are familiar with. Uh, in our case, big data means all the world's open source software. So metadata about all the different projects. There are hundreds of thousands of open source projects in the world today. Uh, all the code, and I mean every line of code of every version of every project. And indexes uh, and analysis for all that code. Which means we have individual tables that contain many terabytes of data. Billions upon billions of rows and the number of columns can reach into the thousands or millions in some cases as well. Uh, the problem with trying to use relational databases to hold all this data is they aren't scale-free, meaning it gets harder and harder to add more data. As you go from gigabytes to terabytes, you find out that sharding becomes more and more difficult. You have to turn off uh, indices. You have to stop using complex joins. And basically, you wind up throwing away most of the reasons you wanted to use a relational database to begin with. So they don't scale very well to very large data. And this is also not a static problem, meaning this is growing every day. Every time an open source developer out there checks in some new code, creates a new project, releases a new version, we need that data. So it's growing very rapidly. It's not at all a static issue. We need real-time access to all this data because the way our, our solution works, people could go into our SAS environment, do scans, query, look for open source projects uh, for individual lines of code for particular files, can research metadata around projects to see what ones they think can solve their problems, get support, etc. So we need instantaneous access through a web application. You can't wait for minutes or even seconds at a time for your data. On the other hand, we also have long-running and complex analysis and batch jobs that are crawling over all this bulk of data, looking for relationships and dependencies and, and analyzing what we have so we can slice it and dice it and report on it and, and have some business intelligence around it. And those are pretty tough and different requirements to put on one system. So what we came up with as a solution is to use a number of open source components, ones I'm sure you've heard of, Hadoop, HBase, and Solar are the primaries. There are many more under the covers, and we'll talk about those later. Uh, Hadoop primarily gives you a distributed file system with MapReduce capabilities on top. And what that means is you've got an easy way to, to crunch all that big data fairly quickly with reliability, with fault tolerance, with retries when things go wrong. Uh, built from the ground up to expect failure and to be able to recover from that failure gracefully and work around it. So it's a very powerful base. It scales very, very well across hundreds or thousands of machines, so terabytes and petabytes even, scale-wise. So it's a solid foundation. On top of that, we use a tool called HBase, which is actually a sub-project of the Apache Hadoop open source project. And HBase gives you a column-oriented database, 
so not a relational database, uh, that fits the NoSQL uh, sort of definition. And what that means is, as I described earlier, relational databases tend to break down when you get into very large data sets, and the NoSQL movement is around. How do we deal with that? What are other ways to get to data, to manage, and process large data without being stuck on a relational database? HSpace is one solution that is column-oriented. It gives you uh, easy access to storing billions of rows by millions of columns. 